Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another Wednesday video, a spooky Wednesday video for Spooky Month. Because we are taking a look at the Addams Family for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Alright, so we're kind of jumping into the game right here. Uh, hint, one of the gravestones leads to a crypt. Stand on the gravestone and press the B on the control pad to enter. Alright, so let's take a minute here just to discuss the game a little bit. Adam's Family is a 1992 action game. It's a platformer, and it was inspired by the 1991 film of the same name. And that film was, of course, inspired by the comic strip from the, I think, the late 30s, and then the TV show from the 60s. But in 91, there was kind of like a resurgence of Adam's Family media, you know, with the movie at the time. Let's get into the game, because we can talk and play. So, there was an Adams Family game for the Nintendo based on the movie. There was Adams Family games on almost every system out at the time. Kind of reminds me of when I did those Bram Stoker Dracula videos, how they kind of did like a media blitz. Alright, so we are playing Gomez Adams. And... Pretty much, he's arrived home, the house is all locked up, and his family's in danger, so he's gonna go explore his grounds and his home and rescue everybody. So, basic platformer controls, left and right with the directional buttons. We can duck if we hit down. B button at the moment does nothing, but the A button will let us jump. And we can jump from platforms to platforms, and jump on our enemies. You wouldn't think you could jump on those plant enemies. They look like, you know, they're biting up towards the air. And if they are biting up towards the air, I guess they'll get you. You can see we got all our life bar at the bottom. Our hearts represent our number of lives. So we got three lives before we have to use a continue. But we also have a counter for how much money we've collected. This little sucker up here. I don't know who that's supposed to be. He's bald and he's wearing glasses. Now, I've never finished this game. I have played it before. So, what I understand, though, is you want to collect a lot of money. That is going to affect the ending. Just collected some cheese. To restore a bit of our life. So, a lot of platforming games have it that you can bounce off one enemy to the next. And that does seem to work for the most part. Alright, now the B button will work. It will let us go down into the crypt here through this gravestone. Now, one thing I think I should mention is that we're playing a uh, mod. We're playing this with a, a ROM hack, a mod that restores some of the graphics that were censored from this version of the game. So that's why you can see crucifix and stuff in the background. All right, so now big spooky skeleton. All right, now we now have the, the key to the front door. That's why we came down here. There are goodies to collect though. So I'm pretty sure that door right there to the right, that's a trap. Don't go down that one. But we will. And we just fall to our death. See, it's even called the pit. So don't go down there. So, that's kind of a... I guess an interesting design choice with these bone platforms here. You can jump on them, but if you touch the sides of them, they damage you. I don't think I really like it, but hey, it's what they chose to do. Now, if you pay very careful attention, you can see these bones on the ceiling there. Some are darker and some are lighter. The lighter ones are going to fall. 
I had to figure this out the hard way. I did mention that this is a 1992 action game. I did not mention that it was done by Ocean Software. I'm pretty sure Ocean Software uh, did this for every version of the game. They did the publishing and developing. Though maybe it was the Game Boy version that somebody else did the uh, publishing for. Yes, the Bone Room. The Bone Room, this is the perfect place for spooky Halloween month. So I'm, I'm an old man. I'm old enough that I was alive when the 1991 film came out. Not only was I alive for it, I was old enough that I can actually have memories of it. Ah, oh, we died. I think I saw it in theaters. And then there was the sequel. I don't know how much later the sequel was. And that was called Adam's Family Values. That one I've seen, but I don't believe I saw it in theaters. And then there would be a third direct-to-DVD, uh, direct-to-video sequel. I don't remember what that one was called. That one I did not see. But I probably should, because it has one of my favorite actors of all time in it, uh, Tim Curry. So in the 1991 film, the character of uh, Gomez Adams here is played by Raul Julia, who is a famous, well-known actor in his own right, well before uh, taking that role. Oh, bear. And Christopher Lloyd played Fester. Uh, Christina Ricci was uh, Wednesday. I think that would probably be one of her first big roles. I'm trying to think what else she was doing before she got to play Wednesday. Oh! Oh, we want to walk on the portraits, okay. But, uh, Raul Julia passed away, uh, sometime after the second film. So, when they did the direct-to-DVD, direct-to-video third film, uh, Tim Curry was playing him. In fact, I think just about everyone was a different actor in that film. in trouble. We need help. Music manuscript. Can I collect the other ones? Ah, I will take this music to the ballroom and play it for you. Swords got me. Oh, we didn't make it. Oh. Do 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 do. So I guess that just changes the background music. This is what the blue Danube. Search for a fiery entrance in the kitchen. Press B on the control pad to enter. So that's a clue on 
where we're going. We're in the kitchen right now. That's a freezer. Let's not go to the freezer. This is a silly place. What we will do is go into the furnace. You know, fiery place. This is, um, I'd say this is a reasonably challenging game. It does take some time to learn the movements of enemies and stuff. The best timing to avoid traps. Like, I got hit there. It may have been hard to tell. Oh, and there's Grandmama. I don't know if she's uh, Gomez's mother or if she's Morticia's. And I think the TV show, um, they kind of switched back and forth. Thank you for rescuing me, Gomez. If you can find my wrench, I will be able to repair the fog machine for you. So I think in the, um, ouch, in the TV show from the 60s, they, they kind of alternated. Sometimes it was uh, Morticia's mother, sometimes it was Gomez's. If anybody who knows better can uh, confirm or deny that. Oh. Yeah, that's a kind of a tough jump. That one's gotten me many, many times. So we had three Adams Family movies. Uh, we had a live-action TV series that, uh, I think Saban was doing. And then we had a animated series. I don't remember who did that. I don't think either, uh, the animated series or the live-action one lasted for all that long. A bunch of video games. Although, I'm curious, I wonder if this re this uh, renewed any interest in, like, the comics. Alright, so for anybody who can't see, yes, the floor is slippery. Oh, game over. We can put our initials in. So let's be huge nerds. We did get the top score. There is a code for unlimited lives, which I imagine is very helpful. But I think... I think we've gotten as much as we're going to get out of this. So, we will start wrapping this video up. I do thank you for taking some time to watch this with me. Or play this with me, rather. And I will check you out in the next game. Thanks for watching.